Welcome to this week's installment of Tech Tuesday. Tonight we're going to be talking about the OMG Polaris V2 ESC. We'll begin tonight's initialization by plugging in our battery. We'll be using a Spectrum DX4C, but you can also use a Futaba, Sanwa, Copopro, or any other transmitter of your choosing. First we're going to bind our transmitter to the receiver. Then we're going to ensure that our throttle is in the reverse position. This LED button will be depressed while powering on your ESC. As soon as you hear a beep, release. Now in the neutral position, press once. And as soon as you hear your beep, you're good. Now in the full throttle position, press again. And in the full reverse, press for a final time. Ensure that your transmitter is operating your ESC correctly. Hobbywing multifunction box doubles as a battery checker as well as your program card. To begin, unplug your signal wire from your ESC and plug it into the center program ports on the box. The left USB port is to update the firmware via your PC. Now power on your ESC, press OK and that will bring you to the first option, which is running mode. Use the value button on your program card to scroll through your selections and press OK to save to your ESC. Now hitting item, you can move through all of the available selections. Quick tip to ensure that you have the correct firmware installed, make sure that you have 16 tuning options available in your menu. If you're new to ESC tuning, I would highly suggest looking up some of this terminology to better understand how it affects your ESC. And utilizing your menu, you can scroll through to determine the largest value of your settings to make your judgment on where you should set it. Once we've completed our setup, we'll remove our program card will ensure that all of our electronics are working in harmony and it's time to drift. <laughs> 